Cubs and who will be able to step up this year for Lexington Catholic. Pelfrey tried to throw it off of a colonel and found Jackson Smith underneath. And we got a double dribble. Another sloppy turnover and you do see that in the early season with any team. We got a 30 second timeout. Coach Salzman will call the white and blue. Knights and Colonels will huddle up for 30 seconds. All right. <laughs> we are officially live now. Jack. It was set on Pacific time. I guess, uh, well, I was going to say you were used to Pacific time, but you were in Florida. That was me. Right. Well, you had a laptop, that's, and I scheduled it on the laptop today. So that's that's what happened. My, I guess when you schedule it, reads what your computer is set on. Man, uh, I, I got to say, uh, technology isn't always as smart as uh, well. A lot of people think. I was rushing. I should have double checked. It, but that's all. Well, we're here now. You're looking at Coach Danny Haney Court, and Knights will inbound it. Colson Perry back, Ben Johnson at the scores table. <laughs> I tell you, and I just made another one. I had the commercial set on loop that we were playing for the video boards here. Another bucket down low. That was Goman. We got a jump ball in the corner. No, it looks like we got a foul called. Yes, a foul is called on the Knights. Crowd not happy. That was Ryan Russell who committed the foul and sends Donovan Stocks to the free throw line. Stocks, a junior, stands at six foot three, listed as a guard. Knights over there, uh, the, the dungeon is dressed up like uh, they're getting ready to go on, let's make a deal. That was a, I, I couldn't think of anything to describe them as, but I think that was a, the best description you could have come up with. Well, I'm, I'm gonna go over there maybe at halftime and pretend I'm Monty Hall, which is the original, uh, original guy that was on the show that hosted the show. Michael and Hawkins back in for the night, sets a hard screen on Stocks, trying to create space for Johnson, almost threw it away. Trying to think who the who the comedian is that they've got on there now. I know his first name is Wade, and I can't yeah, yeah, I yeah. can't remember. Uh, he did like the spelling does, bee and all. He's pretty that funny. Stuff. Yeah, There's he's wedding. Pulls the trigger, no good. Knight still hanging around late in the second quarter. Stocks was looking for McHale in the corner. We apologize that. Uh, and we got on a little late than what we thought we were going to be because uh, we had to sked the timing wrong on our broadcast schedule. Here's Hutman, the seven foot one transfer for Covington Catholic up top. And to recap, the audience, if you were unable to see the first quarter and part of that second quarter, as in and out there is the freshman. <clears throat> the Colonels jumped out to an early lead up by about 12 or 14 points. Coach Salzman called a timeout, regrouped the Knights, and they have clawed back in it. They're down five, 32-27. Ben Johnson's found the basket a couple times, and Luke Wedding with a triple mm -hmm. in the full court press and Coulson Perry. Again, I want to thank Mingi Bee Turkey, our title sponsor here on the network for all their support. Mingi Bee Turkey, official game day stack of Prep Spin. I'm kind of upset with you, William. Why's that? You haven't got me any Mingi in a while. I'm totally out, man. Plus, you've been in Canada. Here are the Colonels breaking the press. This is Green down low, double teamed, and they call it travel. Yeah. Shuffle those feet. Shuffled the feet as he was making his way to the basket there. That's good defense there by Ben Johnson again. 
And Lexington Catholic has made this a one possession basketball game after trailing by double digits in the first quarter. Wedding for the tie. It's good. Luke Wedding from downtown. Full court pass to Stocks. He thought about trying to take his fifth triple. The dungeon is rocking over there in the corner. Here they are. Johnny Manziel's here. A pelican or a, uh, a toucan, a hot dog. <laughs> it's, I'm telling you, it's let's make a deal over there in the dungeon. I'm telling you, you couldn't have nailed that description better. It's let's take a let's make a deal night as Rothbauer deflects it out of bounds and we're tied with 113 to go in the first half. Great coaching battle here. Coach Salzman, Coach Brandon Salzman for the Knights. Salzman told me earlier, I believe, I believe he said 18, maybe it's his 19th year coaching. Salzman. Coach, coach Salzman been a great coach here for a long time. 18 or 19? Was a player before, and there's Diskin for the three-pointer from the corner right in front of the dungeon has silenced them for the moment as the Colonels jump back up by three. Well, you know, if, if Lexington Catholic was able to contain that, that one three-point shooter for uh, Covenant Catholic, you have to remind me of his name, but he's got four three-pointers in the ball game. As Johnson answers, finds the bottom of the net, we're tied again. That would be Donovan Stocks for the Colonels, who's hit four threes, and that one's off the Colonels. Another turnover, and at halftime, we'll have to look at the stat sheet, but the Colonels have committed yeah. A lot of turnovers here in the first half. It's a game, 35 all. This is a tough place to, to win historically, though. It is a tough, tough place to come here if you're a visiting team to win in the dungeon. Johnson, the floater, can't find the rim. The Colonels come up with it. They might take the last shot. Diskin has it up top. And they will hold for the last shot. We're tied up here at Lexington Catholic. We've had a great first half of basketball. Diskin with the rock. Green finds the senior Diskin, who puts it in wow. at the horn. Colonels up by three as we head to halftime. We've had some unbelievable basketball here in the first half. Great way to start off the season, William. A lot of great shooting, man. I, I tell you, I'm impressed with both teams shooting. Folks, we want to apologize for coming on the air a little bit late. What you missed All was my fault, man. Lexington Catholic, Covington Catholic, starting off with a couple sloppy plays, and then Covington Catholic jumping out to a double-digit lead. Looks like they had a chance to run away with it at the end of the first quarter, and then Coach Salzman said, we're going to go back to the basics, back to what we're known for, and run that full court press. And the yep. Knights are now trailing by three. It was tied, but Diskin, Grant Diskin, the senior for Covington Catholic, the leader, gives the Colonels a three-point lead. Thank you for joining us here on Preps, and we'll be right back after these short breaks. is $78 now. The consultation is free. In Lexington and now in London. This is where it all started, right here on this farm. We may have grown over the years, but we've never lost sight of what was important to us. We're continuing that tradition today, and we always will be for generations to come. That familiar sound of rubber and wood floor. The feel of the ball passing between hands and air. The squeaking of the sneakers. And the moment of silent breath, thankfully followed by the whipping of net. And the reward after. This is a moment to remember. This is a Mingi moment. Hi, this is Gary Ball for Crown Trophy of Lexington. Crown Trophy offers youth sports awards, corporate awards, 
They offer signs and a full line of promotional products. They're located at 2680 Will High Drive on the corner of Nicholasville, New Circle Road, just behind Starbucks. Stop by and pick up your copy of our 85-page catalog. Crown Trophy is nationally known, but locally owned with 150 stores nationwide. Crown Trophy, the official provider of plaques for the Scholastic Ball Report and Prep Spin. By the numbers, Whitaker Bank loves the Kentucky communities we serve. Over 30,000 Kentuckians are saving time and money by doing their banking online with Whitaker Electronic Banking. 341,000 transactions were made on the go last year using the Whitaker Bank mobile app. Over 340,000 text alerts were sent last year with Whitaker Bank text banking. We share your passion, Kentucky. Love the bank that loves you back. Whitaker Bank is uniquely Kentucky. By the numbers, Whitaker Bank loves. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. You were looking at Coach Danny Haney Court. The score at halftime is 38-35. The Covington Catholic Colonels from Northern Kentucky are on top. They're playing the Lexington Catholic Knights. It's let's make a deal theme for the student section here in the dungeon. And I apologize to Wayne Brady, the current host of Let's Make a Deal. Couldn't remember your last name, Wayne, but if you're watching, I apologize. And uh, down there on the court now, that's uh, Coach Tech. The new women's basketball coach for Lexington Catholic. He's stepping in for his first year. He's been an assistant a couple previous years, also a teacher here at Lexington Catholic. He's looking to get off to a good start with his young ladies. Prepsman, we wish him nothing but the best. So they will start their season. Coach Chalk from Dunbar is in the house tonight. Doing a little scouting. Fun first half of basketball. The Knights clawed their way back into it. Colonels got off to a hot start, and then once that full court press was applied by the Knights, they got a little sloppy, a lot of turnovers. A lot of bad passes from the Colonels. But Grant Diskin, who's been there for him all night when the Knights have made a run, he's had an answer. He's hushed the dungeon a little bit, and they lead by three. We got about five minutes to go here before we start the second half. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be right back here on Prep Spin. The Kentucky communities we serve. Whitaker Bank supports 956 Kentucky charities and community events. Employees of Whitaker Bank volunteered 14,860 hours to better our Kentucky communities. 93 nonprofits that promote diversity and inclusion in Kentucky are supported by Whitaker Bank. We share your passion, Kentucky. Love the bank that loves you back. Whitaker Bank is uniquely Kentucky. I wanted to get back on the basketball court. I want to get back to the ref I used to be. I want to get back to gardening. I want to get back to playing with my band. Only one team is qualified to get patients back to living their lives. Bluegrass Orthopedics has physician experts to assist in your recovery, whether it's an injury or chronic condition. Bluegrass Orthopedics provides convenient, specialized, and comprehensive care for your unique life. I work really hard, but I'm struggling to pay my bills on time. I've gotten pretty far behind, and 
I don't know what to do. Is this happening to you? We're Atkinson, Sims, and Kermode. Bankruptcy could be your best solution. We're here to give you a fresh financial start. Start your bankruptcy for as little as $78 now. The consultation is free in Lexington and now in Somerset. By the numbers, Whitaker Bank loves the Kentucky communities we serve. There are 50 Whitaker Bank locations serving Kentucky communities just like mine. 61 Whitaker Bank ATMs throughout Kentucky make getting quick access to cash easy. Whitaker Bank staff serves the needs. Welcome back, Lexington Catholic High School is where we are at tonight, opening <laughs> high school basketball in the bluegrass and a couple technical difficulties to start off the season for us and for the teams. A lot of sloppy play down there and some sloppy play from, from us as well, but we're getting into the swing of things. Second half coming up, 15 seconds as the Knights, the Colonels, two of the top 25 teams in the state according to the preseason poll from the Herald Leader. Herald Leader also had a top 25 poll of the top 25 players in the state, which Ben Johnson was on that list. He's just a junior, been playing on the team since he was in eighth grade. And he's been a key for the Knights tonight. The Colonels will check it in as we start the second half. Diskin up top, he hit the three to give the Colonels the lead heading into halftime. Donovan Stocks running the baseline number five for the Colonels. He hit four threes in the first quarter and was held to nothing in the second quarter. There's Goman for Lexington Catholic. Johnson with the jab, the kick, and we got a charge underneath. Wow. Good me against Johnson. Outstanding play from the senior, Joey Moser. Love a guy who takes a charge. Underrated play in basketball. <laughs> that it is. Knights continue to apply that full court pressure and Jackson Smith comes up with a steal and he was tripped. They'll call the foul. Knights will inbound it on the side. Lexington Catholic showing a little bit of quickness there. Just a little uh, interception, if you will. A lot of athletes on this team, a lot of two-sport athletes, multi-sport athletes for both these teams. 
as we mentioned in the beginning of the broadcast, Michael Mayer from Covington Catholic. There's Wedding, in and out, no good. Smith can't come up with a rebound. Michael Mayer, star tight end for the football team up in Northern Kentucky, was also a star basketball player. Will sit out this season to focus on football, focus on what he has planned for next season, which will be in South Bend with Notre Dame. Moser will inbound it in the corner, gets it inside, Wedding rejects it, pins him on the glass. Great block. Cut off his angle and was able to pin it on the glass, as you said, Jack. Johnson thought about a three. There's Goman with the floater, can't get it to go. Neil Green pulls in the rebound. Strong Goman. rebound from Green. Goman automatically thinking rebound, too. You got to like that if you go Salzman. Nice pass inside. Green pumps. He's hit and can't get it to go. Neil Green will head to the free throw line. He's a senior, averaged 8.3 points per game last season along with 4.6 rebounds. Shot an amazing 65% from the field. I think if you're, if you're Lex Cass, you, you're thinking, man, these guys just beat us by one point up there in football season. And this had to have been a, you know, a lot of weight on their shoulders thinking, hey, you know, we got them here at home. We need to try to pull an upset today. And Covington Catholic laid the hammer on Lexington Catholic last season yeah. to start the high school basketball year off. Green extends their lead to four over the Knights. Nice backdoor pass is tipped away by Jay Jackson, and we got a foul that will go nice. against the Colonels. That foul will be on Jay Jackson, his third foul. One of the seniors for the Colonels coming off the bench tonight. Johnson double teams and Jackson Smith can't handle the pass. <laughs> Going to be off the night's last. Referees have had a couple times tonight where they look at each other saying, you know what happened? You know what happened? Yeah. And then instant. someone's got to make a call. That would be instant replay, man. If the technology is available, I'm a big fan of it. Here's Diskin. Guarded by Wedding. Knights in a matchup 2-3 zone. Neil Green inside the paint, puts it off the glass and in. Nice move. Can the Knights answer? Have not scored yet as we're approaching, approaching three minutes into the third quarter. There's Smith cutting. Kicks it out and Stocks comes up with the steal. Colonels are going to push it the other way looking. They got numbers. That's Moser. Too much on that one. Johnson lobs it up to Pelfrey. We got a block. Basket could not fall, but Pelfrey headed to the free throw line. Great outlet pass from Ben Johnson. Well, the uh, Knights student section over there really liking the call. Give my boy Pierce Hall down here taking photos of the game tonight. Want to thank Hallway Feeds, by the way. Hallway Feeds for all they do for us here on the network. See ya. Pelfrey shot 62% from the free throw line last season. He nets both of those. We got a timeout on the court, and we will take a timeout up here as well. Lexington Catholic trails by four. We'll be right back. Of nearly 70,000 Kentucky customers every day. We share your passion, Kentucky. Love the bank that loves you back. Whitaker Bank is uniquely Kentucky.
Welcome back. You're looking at Coach Danny Haney Court here in Lexington, Kentucky at Lexington Catholic. Knights trail by four to the Covington Catholic Colonels. Jay Jackson, senior guard, will inbound it on our end, gets it into Green. Neil Green's having the impact here in the third quarter. There's Stocks, goes up on Wedding, can't get it to go, loose ball. Pulled in by Goman. Luke Wedding had action with the Knights last year, but not a whole lot of playing time. That goes for a lot of the uh, players on the court for the Knights besides Ben Johnson. So who can Come step in. up? Wedding, no good. Green contested that one in the corner right in front of the Knights bench. Coach Salzman has some subs headed to the table. Diskin, he'll launch. That one's off. Neil Green pulling in the rebound. That one was deflected. Looks like Jackson Smith got a hand on it. Now here comes the flashy Ben Johnson with the Euro step. We got a foul. Was it in the act of shooting? I believe so. I mean, he's coming up with the with the basketball. But he's certainly going to the line. So. Johnson at the free free throw line, third trip this evening. Will it like, to uh, the stripe. You know the movie Twins. Yeah. I guess I guess I'm getting the needle in your armor. Hey, we forgot to take a picture though. Of this. Hey, uh, Jack. Take a picture. I got an idea. I got a great idea. I don't I don't pull it off as well as you do. Second free throw from Ben Johnson is good. Donovan Stocks at four threes in the first quarter. You guys missed that. Donovan Stocks, guard for the Colonels, knocked down four triples in the first quarter. Has been quiet ever since. Diskin will launch another three. That one's short. Doesn't even connect on the iron. Knight's got a loose one running. Goes up on Stocks, who went straight up, and that one falls. Ryan Russell over Donovan Stocks to trim it to a one-point game. Out of bounds, last touch by the Colonels. Knights will have a chance to take the lead after this break when we come back here on Prep Spin. Welcome back here to Lexington Catholic, where Covington Catholic just called a timeout after another turnover. They've been sloppy ever since their hot start in the first quarter. And the Knights have a chance to take the lead for the first time this evening. Goman will bring it up, guarded by Diskin. Jack Goman, the 6'4 sophomore for the Knights. Another new face to the court. He's made a lot of nice plays so far this evening. It's also sophomore Michael Hawkins back in the game. The big fella down low for Lexington Catholic. And that's Rothbauer, Ian Rothbauer with the basketball. Mm -hmm. 
Rothbauer puts it on the deck, goes inside, can't get it to go. Colonels collapsed on him as he drove down low. Colonels still up by a point with the basketball. The dungeon's starting to make some noise. Got uh, Max Weinbrunn in the house. Need to get Max on the mic with you here in a second. In and out, Joey Moser. Special guest alert. We'll talk to you about tomorrow. Oh, Lord. I'd like to welcome in uh, BD Global's finest, Max Weinbrenner. Max, how are you doing this evening? We're doing good. How are you doing? Pretty good. Uh, high school basketball is back in Kentucky, so can't be happier as Moser launches a three again no good loose ball is picked up by Diskin Stocks thought about his fifth triple mid-rangers no good and a foul on the floor Max you just got back from the land up north some people would call Canada they do call it Canada up there it's uh, the same as what it is in America it's, it's good to be back it was uh, it was an awesome experience I was uh, up there with you for about a week Definitely a different experience. It was a good time. We were uh, running a women's college basketball event up in Victoria. I can tell you what, if there was ever a Kentucky and Canada, it'd be Victoria, British Columbia. If you ever have a chance to go up there, definitely one of the nicest communities, the best people up there. Unbelievable experience. Very beautiful city, very friendly people. It does remind me a lot of Lexington, Kentucky. And so, you work for uh, BD Global. Tell us a little bit about what BD does. Well, BD, it would be an easier question to answer what they don't do because we're in just about everything. And, hey, don't let me interrupt your calls. If you need to call that foul on the floor, by all means, Jack. Oh, no. We, the, the fans, the folks at home can see it in 1080p HD. Uh, I tell you, William has one heck of a setup up here. Unbelievable. Oh, yeah. Anyways, carry on. You're not, you're not yeah, interrupting us. Johnson gets the floater, and we're tied here. But, Max, go ahead. Yeah, so BD Global, we run a, a few events uh, across the country, mainly college basketball, men's and women's, and we're working our way into hockey as well. We run a few uh, web.com, now Corn Ferry Golf events down in the Bahamas. Uh, so you could just say we're the jack of all trades. Right, Jack? Oh, yeah. That is exactly right, and you just got to – direct your first tournament. We've got a timeout on the floor. We'll keep it here. We got Max. It's a party here at Lexington Capital. You just got to direct your first tournament hey, oh, up oh, in oh, Canada. Speak, speaking of parties, I, I may need to steal one of those costumes down in the student section. I, I think I saw a toucan. I see a Packer cheese head, and there's a few coconut bras down there. I'm going to have to steal one of those costumes and rock it up here for prep spin. Oh, yeah. Uh, my brother's down there in the middle. And I think he's dressed as a reindeer, but he may or may not be wearing my high school kangaroo it's, uh, it's, it's a lineage. you got to pass it on down. he might be just calling it a reindeer. I'm not sure. But, Max, you just got back. We just got back from Victoria, as we were just talking about. And you got to direct your first tournament. What was it like kind of being the shot caller? A very different position that I was usually not used to. I was usually the one filling up Gatorade and doing the towels. And then I was the one asking someone else to do all that stuff. So oh, yeah. um, I, I was privileged and honored to, asking, to be in. You were asking me to do that stuff. <laughs> and you did great. OK, Jack, <laughs> I don't care what anyone else says. Johnson tried the James Harden step back. Couldn't connect. We're still tied here in the third quarter. So what's but next no, for you, it's, Max? It's, uh, it's on to the next one, as they would say. You know, in January, we actually have our college hockey event down in Las Vegas, Nevada. We'll be going over to T-Mobile Arena, where the Golden Knights play. And uh, we're going to welcome Providence, Ohio State, Cornell, and Army. So we're excited to get underway there in a month. That sounds exciting. And those hockey teams there lined up, the four of them are all I believe highly ranked, and that should be an outstanding tournament. Las Vegas has turned into a hockey town as they have really embraced the Golden Knights, and we were out there. It was unbelievable. I haven't really had a lot of hockey experience, but I hadn't seen anything like that in a while. You know, when we first went out there, that's exactly what I said. I don't have much hockey experience, but I've been to a game. I know there's a puck. I know there's some sticks. I know there's a goalie. And, and, then, first, and, then, and then eventually you get into fighting. upside. There's oh, there's fighting. fighting. Which, who, who doesn't love fighting in the sport. Johnson almost 
gets that one to go, and he'll be back at the free throw line with a chance to give the Knights their first lead here this evening. We're tied at 42. Johnson shot 69% from the free throw line last year. You know, Jack, as we watch these free throws, I'm just going to say, I don't know how much William is paying you, but it's definitely not enough. You are doing an excellent job calling this game. Jack Haynes, everybody, give it up. <laughs> I appreciate that, and I wish everyone could have saw what you were doing up across the border because could have said the same thing. Oh, get out of town. Get out of Get here. out of town. Get out of here. And that kid down there with the lobster hat, he's getting out of town. He looks like he's hitting the exit he's early. Home. We have a great game here at Lexington Catholic in Lexington, Kentucky. Another turnover. The Knights will get the ball back with 46 seconds. They're up by two, their first lead of the game. And there's a lot of shock on one end of this building right now because the Colonels came in, took a double-digit lead in the first half, and it's been all Lexington Catholic so far. There's Wedding from the top. It's good! These guys can shoot. These guys can shoot, Max Weinbrenner. Another turnover. That's too many turnovers. You can't let that happen. Here's Johnson. Finds Wedding again. Splash. Oh, wow. He hit the side of the backboard, and it still almost went in. You don't see that very often. Knights are up by five. That's their largest lead of the game. Diskin for the Colonels has the basketball, and he'll dribble it out to take the last shot. Last quarter, he knocked down a three-pointer. The Dungeon giving a short clock. Will that mess with them? No. We got a block called. Thought it might be a charge. Smith had his feet set, it looked like. But that will send, no, it will be an inbounds play. The seven foot one, Max, I thought you were tall. We got a seven foot one guy in the building tonight. That's Noah Hutman. Stocks has water. gotta go. Cannot connect. And what an incredible basketball game we have here in Lexington, Kentucky. We got one more quarter left. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back here on Prep Spin. That familiar sound of rubber and wood floor. The feel of the ball passing between hands and air. The squeaking of the sneakers. And the moment of silent breath, thankfully followed by the whipping of net. And the reward after. This is a moment to remember. This is a Mingi moment. Welcome back. We are here at Lexington Catholic. Max Weinbrenner, you're going to stick around for the final eight minutes. And we got a good one. A top 25 ranked matchup, according to the preseason poll from the Herald Leader. Pelfrey to Johnson. The back door is wide open. Max, uh, you missed a little bit of the first half. Uh, we're going to dock your pay for being tardy, That's but. Do I get any points for watching it on prepspin.com? Oh, yeah. Okay. Any, anybody who watches on prepspin.com, they get bonus points. And while we have some of the biggest games in the state every year, I definitely recommend that if you're a fan of basketball, you get out here and watch Ben Johnson for Lexington Catholic at least one time because he's something special. We got an and one. Moser. For the Colonels, finding it, working his way to the basket. He's having a, a quiet, good game. Not a lot of points, but a lot of hustle plays. Moser will be at the free throw line for an extra shot. Cuts it to four. Those are the free throws you have to make. You want to get back in this game, Jack. Exactly. And being down, you got to get the stops on the other end. 
The Knights have had everybody involved here this evening. As Johnson launches from deep, no good. Moser with another rebound. We call that a heat check, Jack. In the business, we call that a heat check. He's making sure that he can uh, still drain him. A little off. He's going to go back down and do it again. Stocks. He hit four in the first quarter and nothing since. Johnson tries to save it. Throws it off of Neil Green. Knights basketball. The pink afro approves as he walks in from the concourse. Late substitution for Covington Catholic. Chandler Starks, the freshman, back in for the senior, Neil Green. So, Max, when's the last time you've been to a high school basketball game? You know, I can't lie. It's been a while, but I picked a good one to come to, right? Oh, yeah. You picked an outstanding one to come to. This right now, as we have six and a half minutes left, is turning out to be a heck of a basketball game. We've had just about everything involved. Johnson inside, he's blocked by Starks. And went it down Moser, hard. Moser went down hard. He was hit by his own guy on that collision, and he hit his head hard on the hardwood. Going to try and walk it off, but he might be seeing stars. I would suggest somebody take a look at this guy because he hit the floor very hard. He's going to stay in the game. That's a warrior if I've ever seen one. And woke him up. He's ready, though. It woke him up. He's ready to go. Officials asked him if he's okay. He said, put me in, coach. It's a lot different than if you watch an NFL football game and a guy gets hit in the shoulder, they run on the field and make sure he didn't get a concussion. And, and here in high school basketball, you slam your head on the hardwood. Ref just says, you okay, bud? He says, yep, all right, I'm back in the game. And there's no dirt you can rub that with. Heck no. Johnson puts up the second one. In and out. Knights up by five. Moser still in the game after the hard fall. Trapped in the corner. Wedding got a hand on it. Diskin will finally get it across. Moser pulls the trigger. It's good. That's what you needed right there. A three. Get you only back by two. Moser, a good math, Max. Moser has been huge here in the first two minutes of the fourth quarter. Under six now. Knights have had great ball movement tonight. I was proficient in math, by the way. Oh, yeah? Western Kentucky, uh, good math program the Western Kentucky there? product. Oh, yeah. Diskin thought about a deep three as Johnson is on him. Junior and senior going head-to-head. -head. Diskin drives to the right. And we got a foul call. A late whistle will send Diskin to the free throw line. You know, Jack, I don't know if you guys have mentioned it yet, but Covington Catholic has a huge week in Lexington. First this game against a tough Lexington Catholic team, but also this week and Saturday, first day of state, they're going to be going up against Frederick Douglass. Frederick Douglass. That's a big-time matchup. Oh, very. That is extremely big-time. And I think I'll be, be headed up there Saturday. I'll start around 8 o'clock in the morning. We'll see where it takes us. We'll go from there. And I believe BD Global has a intern with Frederick Douglass. BD Global. Old Ryan, the old, old kicker. He'll be out there uh, kicking them straight, we'll hope. Frederick Douglass and Covington Catholic will fight for the 6A state championship, I believe, Saturday. Don't take my word for that, but I believe it's Saturday, Saturday evening. I'm going to take your word because it is Saturday evening. All right. Well, Max is here, my fact checker, as Johnson drives the baseline, and we got a block called. Might have stepped out of bounds, but the whistle came first. They called a block, and that will send Johnson to the free throw line. We're tied up again. In the second half, there's been a lot of ties, a lot of lead changes. And there was only one tie in the first half as the Colonels held a big lead. And Johnson can't connect on the front end of that one and one. We're still tied. Donovan Stocks, he's down in the right-hand corner of your screen with the basketball now. Hit four triples in the first quarter. He's been quiet since. He has the ball down low. Colonel's just trying to find an open shot, moving the basketball around. Diskin says, let's reset it. 
He'll drive, throws one up, almost got the friendly roll. You cannot give enough credit to these boys for hustling. I mean, the only thing deflated in this gym is the dinosaur sitting on the side next to the toucan. He is deflated. Uh, poor guy. But yeah, hustle has been the name of the game tonight. And there's not enough hustle in, in, in just the world in general anymore. And if you're watching this game, hopefully it motivates you to hustle. That's why you got to come to your local high school basketball games. You'll see the hustle that you need in the real world. And this gym is packed with fans and deflated dinosaurs tonight. I think I see Baker Mayfield down there. Nice actually, enough. That's, that, actually, that is actually Johnny Manziel down there, not Baker Mayfield. Johnny Manziel is here tonight watching some high school basketball. The Colonels get back on top. They're up by two. We're at four minutes left in this one. It's been exciting. It's had just about everything. Goman lost it, made a nice move to get it back, and we got a foul up top. Should send Goman to the free throw line. Not a smart foul from the freshman. But it's his first game, he'll learn. Jack Goman at the free throw line. Sinks the first one. Another former Lexington Catholic star in attendance tonight. Jared Griffin sitting courtside. Up in the top of your screen, you might be able to see him there. If you remember Jared Griffin, he was an outstanding basketball player here at Lexington Catholic. Played alongside Ben Johnson's oldest brother, Tanner. As those two led Lexington Catholic to many wins in their time. Tie game, under four to go. Max, as soon as you got here, this thing has been very entertaining. And that one's in and out, hits the backboard, and finds the bottom. It's good. McHale. Well, we were looking for some energy, and we, we found it. It's here. We saw you walking down there, and we said, get him up here. There's the energy. We found it, and we've been rolling. That was Colson Perry just threw that pass nutmeg. between the legs, and as they call it in soccer, a nutmeg. Max is good with his soccer terminology as long just with about everything else you, you, you got you got the full arsenal and it's right around the holidays so nutmeg kind of goes with the whole theme oh it does it does it will just be uh, a little hot chocolate uh, yeah a little eggnog a little eggnog you never used nutmeg before huh uh, I, I actually haven't okay well that's why i was i was a little confused i'll make you some next time we come up here and get to the broadcasting booth and press screen, i'm gonna make you make a little bit of hot chocolate with some nutmeg oh that, i i can't wait I, and i'm sure I'm sure it's pretty good. Not as good as this game, though. We got a thriller in the end. We do have a thriller coming down the wire. Lexington Catholic, Covington Catholic, two top 25 preseason ranked teams, according to the Herald Leader. Covington Catholic came in ranked as the number two team in the state of Kentucky. Lexington Catholic, 22. Ben Johnson will try and go to work on Diskin. Diskin fell down. Wedding launches a corner three that's contested, and he drills it. Luke Wedding has been going off tonight from behind the three-point arc. Shooter shoot, Max. When you've got it, you got to shoot it. There's Moser. He loses it but gets it back. Diskin thought about a three, had to give it up. Under three to go, Knights on top by one. We have a classic here inside Robert J. Buter Athletic Center. Moser has it in the corner now. Diskin will reset up top. The senior calling the shots. Pulls it up. Got it! He waited for the right moment to shoot it, and he shot it. That's the beauty of these non-shot clock games. High school is a beautiful thing. It is a beautiful thing. 57-55, Covington Catholic on top. Now Mac Ben Johnson with the basketball. Neil Green switches on him. Johnson will back it up. He wants the isolation. Picked it up. Inside, Goman is fouled. Has a chance to tie it up. Believe that was on Neil Green. Referee does signal foul on Neil Green down low. He held his hands up with no avail. They called it there, right on the floor. 
Tough Green, call. Green wasn't happy with it. Thought he went straight up. Goman connects on the first. He'll have one more. 2.05 left in the fourth quarter. Off the back iron on the second one. Covington Catholic holds a one-point lead. Knights in the full court press. Throws it away. That was McHale threw it away. Johnson then threw it away. Had Goman wide open cutting to the basket, <laughs> and Johnson tried to throw the chest pass. He got Should've, excited. He did get excited. He got excited, didn't know what to do with the ball, wanted to find his man. Wrong color. Knew he had numbers and tried getting it to... Goman as Diskin loses it down low, retains possession. Colonels have a one point lead. And like you said, oh, and Diskin throws it away, lost the basketball. Here comes Goman inside. We got a foul. Moser tried to take the charge, they called it a block. And his, Goman is back at the free throw line. His feet weren't just quite there, was wanting to get the charge call, but could not get it, blocking on the floor. So Goman will have a chance to redeem himself. The Knights trail by a point. First one ties it. So we are tied. We've had many ties tonight. Lexington Catholic got its first tie at the end of the second quarter. Goman for the lead. Gives the Knights a one point lead. They'll stay in the full court press. Diskin with the basketball. Gets it across. In the corner, now Moser. Now Diskin will reset. Stocks. Donovan Stocks, number five for the Colonels, has been quiet since his four three-pointers in the first quarter. We're under a minute to go here in an exciting basketball game down the stretch. Danny Haney court. And a timeout called Coach Rusat. We will take a break here, 49.7 seconds to go. Max and I will be right back here on Prep Spin. The future of healthcare seems dark at times, but for patients in Kentucky with diagnostic imaging needs, there's a place with clarity and a compassionate staff. Lexington Diagnostic Center and Open MRI provides quality patient care while saving you hundreds to thousands of dollars as compared to hospital-based centers. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You are watching live on PrepSpin. We're bringing you our first high school basketball game of the season, kicking off the 2019-2020 year. And Max, I can't believe we're almost to 2020, the end of a decade approaching. But the Colonels have the basketball. They trail by one. Stocks kicks it to Moser, who goes down, and they call it travel. That's a Coach tough Ruth one down Nats low. Can't believe it. That's a tough one down low. Tough one to handle. Moser was like a, like a Jenga tower falling down. You're like, no, 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 and then he, he just went down. He must, have, he must have felt the dungeon over there making some noise. I think there was an earthquake in the Lexington area. We have to talk to Chris Bailey about that one. And it, I, I believe there was. Right before we came back from break, the entire student section was jumping and rocking, and Coach Kinshaw had to calm them down. Knights have the basketball up by one with under 30 seconds to go. Still no foul coming from the Colonels. They're just trying to trap in Moser. We'll give the body to Rothbauer and Rothbauer. The senior standing at six foot three will head to the free throw line. Can extend the lead for the Knights but it will still be a one possession game. 24.6 left here in the fourth quarter. 
Rothbauer's in and out on the first one. Jackson Smith into the game. Peyton Pelfrey checks out. Moser, McHale, Stocks, Jay Jackson, Grant Diskin, in, and Rothbauer misses the second one. It's still a one-point lead for the Knights. Neil Green was ready to check into the scores table, and he will here shortly as a timeout is called by Covington Catholic. We'll keep it right here. 17.5 left, Max. If you are Covington Catholic, who is that man that's going to step up and hit that shot? First, what's the play? Get it to the right guy. Find him that open look, but who is that man tonight? I think there's multiple uh, candidates out here that have the hot hand, but it's going to be an interesting one with uh, just under 20 seconds left. Well, there are multiple candidates that could get this last shot. Donovan Stocks was very hot to start this one off. Like we've been saying, he hit four three-pointers in the first quarter, but he's gone cold since. So maybe you give it to the senior, the leader, Grant Diskin. He's been the guy that's had the answer tonight. But let's see what Coach Ruth Satz draws up. Max, uh, before you got here, we were talking about Coach Ruth Satz. Coach Scott Rusatz for the Colonels. He has a 227 and 54 record in eight years. For oh, is Covington that good? Catholic. Oh, is that good, Jack? Well, you you were talking about how great you were at math. I mean, I thought if I just said that number, you would the you fractions, would instantly know. Fractions carry the three. Oh, fractions aren't my thing, Jack. No. We're learning a lot of new things here tonight with Max Weinbrenner from BD Global in the house. We are ready. McHale will inbound the basketball, 17.5 on the clock. Knights lead it by one. Timeout now called by Coach Salzman. He wanted to see, I guess, what Covington Catholic was going to come out and look like. Well, and Coach, now he says, all right, I see what you – Well, he says, like I, I see your – it's exactly like a chess game. You know, right, while probably, others, is it called a chess match or a chess game? I think it's a chess – I'm it, not a big chess be, player. But, but I think that everyone else would play checkers. Over here we're playing chess, okay? Right. He, he sees your timeout, he'll raise you a timeout, okay? So Coach Salzman now will talk to his team and try and prepare them for what he thinks Coach Rusatz drew up. But if Coach Rusatz – is as great of a coach as we know and think. He did that on purpose. Knew Coach Salzman was going to call a timeout. And now he has another play that he'll draw up and says, all right, let's execute this play. Let's go out there and let's take the lead. Because we're getting a, a good close-up of the dungeon. It was work. We think it was let's make a deal night. As you know, kudos, these, kudos, these students. Uh, you know, I went to down the street. I went to Lafayette High School. You ever heard of a Jack? And it was a nightmare coordinating these outfits. This theme, there is no coordination. You want chaos, and that's what these kids are bringing. They're bringing chaos. You gotta love it. Gotta love it. Colonels inbound it. You gotta love this one point basketball game. Top twenty five matchup. This is how you start off basketball in the bluegrass. Down low to green. The senior loses it, and we got a foul. Jackson Smith can't believe it. Thought he went straight up and then dropped his hands so above his head as he was in shock. 7.7 .7 is on the clock. Neil Green has a chance to tie with this free throw. He's got two. And there it is, 58 apiece. Ice in his veins, Jack. He had ice in his veins. Let's see if he can do one more. One more. Let's see if he can. Chandler Starks checks back in. They want him down low to try and get a rebound. And in case there's a miss, Green in and out. We're tied. And a timeout is called by the Knights with six seconds on the clock. We're going to take a quick break, and we will be right back. Don't go anywhere. We're tied. 58 apiece here on Prep Spin. Remember, for your medical imaging needs, you have a choice.
Welcome back from that very short commercial break. We're tied. 58 all. It's been an amazing basketball game. Max Weinbrenner from BD Global is here. Max, what have you had, what have you had to think about? Uh, I've learned a few things tonight. Is yeah. that Covington Catholic and Lexington Catholic can play a heck of a basketball game. I know that William loves Prep, prep Spin viewers so much, he's going to minimize all advertisements and all commercials to get you what you really want. That's the basketball action. That's right. That's the Prep Spin way. That's right. We're about to see the final six seconds here. Wanted to get it into Johnson. This is Goman with four. Gives it to the corner. Russell's got to get shoot it, and he did not. Oh, my goodness. We got a foul. They called the foul. The official in front of the Lexington Catholic bench called a blocking foul. Now what we have to think about is, was there time on the clock? The referees are now huddled up. One second is what they're going to put on the clock. It sounds like. Let's see. Coach Salzman's fired up about something. They put point one, but I'm, I believe the referee wants one second on the clock. So this is interesting, Max. We got Ryan Russell at the free throw line for the Knights. Junior. Still some confusion on the floor. You know, you never want these games where these teams have given their all to come down to free throws, but that's where we're at right now. I, I couldn't tell if he had kicked his leg out or if it was just planted there and it just got tangled up. Nevertheless, we have free throws. I couldn't see what happened. All the players down below were excited standing up. Russell. Lost the ball out of bounds. Thought that was the game. We thought we were headed to overtime. And now Russell having to wait around a little extra as we get this evened out. I believe they're trying to put one second back on the clock. It reads point one right now. Coach Rutsak wanted to bring in his players for a little huddle on the court. And then he said, N -n -n -n, just go back, just go back. Still trying to sort this out here, but what just happened was Lexington Catholic inbounded it with six seconds. They were trying to find Ben Johnson all the way down the court. Covington Catholic did a great job of covering up, and a block was called. The block was called, but there was no time left for him to come up to get the shot. I mean, they're putting one second left. He was going towards the end line. I just don't know if there was enough time and got saved by a, by a blocking call. Hard to tell without looking at a replay, but now Coach Salzman is coming over to try and set the clock back to one second. Ryan Russell is being iced by his own arena right now. And he, as we get one second put up on the clock, we should be ready to go. Ryan Russell steps up to the stripe. Two shots, not a one-on-one, -on -one, two shots. We're tied. All he needs is one to take the lead, and it's good. He sinks it. The dungeon is ready to break free. There's still a second on the clock. Coach Salzman sends back Johnson and Wedding. The big fella, seven foot one. Noah Hutman checks in, but unless he makes this free throw, there's not enough time to get it down there for a Christian Leitner type shot. So if you're Covington Catholic, you hope Ryan Russell makes this so that you could throw a full court pass. If you're Russell, does Sol Coach Salzman tell you to miss this intentionally? He does. Shits, hits the fr front end of the rim. Moser doesn't get it off in time. And it's over. The Knights pull what? off an incredible okay. upset. The dungeon has opened up and they are on the floor. We got alligators hugging two cans. Reindeer, Spider-Man. Hot dogs. Everything you could ever imagine is down here hugging each other, celebrating. What a fantastic game, Jack. There's Robert Griffin III. He's down there, too. What? Max, you couldn't have picked a better game to show up to, and I mean it when this was an unbelievable game. This will go down in the archives. Number two versus number 22, Covington Catholic being ranked the preseason number two.
team in the state is upset here in Lexington, Kentucky by the Lexington Catholic Knights. Bo Allen, star quarterback for the Knights down there on the court. Dressed as a character from the movie Dodgeball. Call those what the average Joes. Average Joes. But this was not a game played by average Joes tonight. This was a game played by some of the best high school basketball players in the state of Kentucky. And we got a classic. What a thriller that was. And, Jack, I just want to thank you for inviting me on the broadcast. We're talking about a little bit of BDG, but it turned into an incredible game to watch. Unbelievable. I'm glad you uh, had to stick around. Oh, I'm glad you showed up, and I'm glad we had you. You're welcome on here anytime. I'm going to hold you to that. Oh, I'm yeah. I'm going to come by asking for a headset. We'll have an extra one with your name on it. Ladies and gentlemen, you just witnessed a classic here on Prep Spin. Lexington Catholic defeats the preseason number two team in the state, Covington Catholic, by a score of 59-58 for the King of Stream, William Warfield, and for Max Weinbrenner. And for the Prince of uh, Stream, for Jack Haynes. We would like to thank you all for joining us this evening, and stay tuned. Prep Spin will have more thrilling basketball throughout the season. So keep Prep Spin on your Roku device. It's on, we're adding it to a lot of different devices. It's easy to pull up the games and unless we have a technical difficulty like tonight but we'll make sure that's taken care of in the future and with that being said all right jack let's go get some mingy beef jerky let's go get some mingy beef jerky max we would like to thank you for joining in with us tonight everybody good night <laughs>